please, please, please. No! The season is all out chaos now. Well, it's been an honor playing the season with you boys. I've enjoyed I've enjoyed this uh this couple of months thinking I had a chance, you know? So I'll tell you guys what we'll do. I'm gonna run this build. And if I'm really, really getting gear gapped and I'm getting cash gamed, if we keep getting gear gapped, I will do this. You just need her to be fast. She just needs to be fast and she needs high effectiveness. If you go guiding light or something, they can't even kill you with like green sid. They can't push you back with silk you actually have to cleave her wow look at that i'm turbo safe omega resisted yeah i, I should have been bellion it's kind of an oversight on my part to not been bellion I drafted wrong and it's like this guy is dead. The f is he gonna do now? What are you gonna fing do, bro? Yeah, it's minus one cooldown. He has no skills to press. All right, get, get ready, guys. She's gonna be like permanently locked away real fast. Like, th there's no way you just let this unit through. He has to ban the Lua now. Can you guys imagine? The fucking Violet gets reset and he can't even counter me like a dumbass. Resistance. Okay, that's fair. I still reset the rest of his team, right? It's like we both lose a turn, which I think is okay. <laughs> I have to pass a turn. I have to let Ed pass a turn so the Beguile ticks off on him. This fucker can't even counter. He has no apple, no counter. I could have hit him, but it's like, I don't think it matters, right? Because I have two bruisers plus Stenny. I just keep him alive. <laughs> oh, I just hit this thing. He can't even counter. What is he going to do? This hero is literally so stupid. At the very least, she has speed buff here, right? I think Lanny's pretty good here. Do you think Lua would be good with AOL? Maybe. Uh, my instincts tell me no, because th those are two units that... Like, imagine having two units that do no damage and don't provide attack up, right? They And, and their roles kind of overlap. That's one of my main boys for like a year and a half now. We play Guiding Light, we have four Guiding Lights, cash game. I'm 309 speed, I'm down by 2%, like what can you do? Oh hey, wait we're fine. Kill this first, so we can't get crowd controlled. Push everything back. Obsic laps back around, and then we go for kill. Right, he can't S3 here. He's gonna shield herself, right? I'm a water unit, so I'm gonna defense break this. Resistance, what can you do? This comes back, I hit this. This unit is so stupid. None of us have any fucking idea how to beat her besides- Yeah, just outspeed and kill her forehead. Highest attack. That's fine. It does get C. Lilius here though, which is kind of annoying. Oh, he cleanses. You're right. I should have just sleep to C. Lilius. Oh, ow. Wait, that's that's fucking terrible. I mean, if, I guess if he's just all about that. 
I guess I die. Shit. This guy bought packs this month and I haven't. Uh, I mean, might as well, right? Their side is my time to play, my turn to play with a 15%. Guys, I don't want to even S3 here because s 3 means they won't attack into my Senya. What do I do? Isn't it crazy? Like we can whiff a whole skill and look how good of a position we're- Oh shit, that's a- that's a different RB. Oh no. Wee woo, wee woo. Oh, and he crits me. <sighs> like look what it takes for us to lose one game, right? Everything needs to go wrong and he has to gab. Can you imagine if he didn't gab and crit Senya? Right, I still have Souls Destina, Soul Burns to heal. I still solo his ass. <laughs> Maybe not Soul Burning was greedy, right? But I need Steny to make the play. Oh, nice. Beguile. Three of them. Okay, we missed one. I kind of want a poly here, but he, he he's held his poly for a long time. We crit that. That's pretty oh, resisted. Ugh, tragic. Oh, wait, he dies here. Haha, <laughs> watch this. <laughs> I love this interaction. <laughs> yeah, it's like he doesn't play the game. It's, it's This hero's fucking anti-fun as shit, right? It's fun for me. I get to make a lot of decisions and micromanage what happens in the game. He gets to sit here and beat my beating dummy. I've been showcasing new units for the past, like, 10 months. This is by far the easiest time I've ever had. Okay, we missed that. Fine. Go ahead and grab. She lives. I'm tanky. Don't care. Uh, do we soul burn this? Nah. I don't feel like it. Okay, it's my turn now, right? Surely. All, all I can say is I... It's gonna sound like I'm coping, right? Because obviously we have some pretty, pretty damn unlucky games. But like, if my luck stayed normal, I'm pretty sure I'd be sitting in Legend right now. But like, at the very least, I can say I win streak from rank 200 to rank 105, which is where I normally sit by the end of the season. Oh, hey, dual attack deserved. Nice. Why they even have her the damaging debuff? I have no clue. Maybe it's because she doesn't really do damage. Wow. It appears to me this fellow is dead. Look at that. I'm loading the math in my head. Should I build her right now already? I'm not sure I can use her as anti-cleave. Well, I think it's incredibly good if you're... Like, those guys with one really fast set of gear. Like, if you have one set of gear to make her 300 speed, I think she's ridiculously good. Alright. How is she on Grace of Growth? Pretty good. I don't... Oh, man. Okay, we got the two-turn defense break. Alright, all we needed... Look at that, two-turn defense break. Whereas, in Lua's case, it was very obvious where she's good. She, you, you, you know, you guys can see from the clip, she can play standard, uh, she could play uh, a little bit of tank down, she could play aggro, she could play cleave, she could play anti-cleave, she could play, you know, cleave versus cleave, and then they also pivot into anti-cleave. She could play against anything, because you just deny your opponent one full turn, and on top of that, if you land all of your beguiles, right, uh, when you land everything here, 30% damage to all of your opponents in a 4v4 setting. I think it's a little bit too strong. Um, aside from going a normal, like, very standard build, I would say my build is a little standard. I even upgraded it midstream, taking ge better gear from better units after seeing how good she is. And I think other players caught on to that queue as well. Uh, I think I got games with her for, like, maybe an hour and a half. After that, just pre ban every single game. You can even go high crit chance. High crit chance lets you S2 into S1. And then that will activate Commander Pavel. I, I think that's really strong as well. 
Uh, or if you know your build is really tanky like this, uh, you can actually run Temporal Fan because now if you have immunity at high speed and you're tanky, uh, you no longer need the safety that a Guiding Light grants you, right? Because single target units can't kill you, they can't crowd control you. And this actually lets you keep your DPS units a lot safer on top of giving you a lot of extra effectiveness. I think that's really, really strong. Um, so overall, I think this unit is insanely overpowered. I would grab one copy ASAP. If you guys are free to play and you're limited on resource, hopefully you guys have a Huayang on deck or you've traded um, your, uh, what do you call that? The anniversary selector for a Huayang. That way, when Huayang gets her nerf and you get your selector unit, you should just be able to pick up, pick up a copy of Lua for free. Um, I think this is one of those units where uh, until a unit is designed just to counter her comes out, she'll basically, as long as you, you know, get your first turn, and sometimes even if you don't get the first turn, right, as long as she's not hard crowd controlled, she can get, she can just basically beat any team composition in the game, uh, especially just because you can soul burn her S3 to resist, right, it, it's not an attacking skill, um, you can sleep whatever is supposed to landmine you into, you know, activating when you trap them, and on top of that, right, you can't miss, uh, it's a non-attacking skill, you ex burn to ignore effect resist, it, it's just, I cannot believe that they made this character at the end of an RTA season and somehow decided it was a good idea to not global ban her. And I would honestly love to see if Smilegate implements a global ban of some type of um, emergency maneuver to kind of control the meta before the season ends at the very least. Uh, because, you know, like, she's so much more toxic than... Uh, something like Conqueror Lilius, and Conqueror Lilius is already enough of a problem, right? Those are my thoughts on Lua. Let me know what you guys think. For now, though, uh, that'll be the video for today, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a great one, and let me know how your guys' experience are with this hero. See ya, see ya.